Halloween is a scary and spooky time, isn't it? It's made even scarier because it's dark all the time. There's so much darkness at Halloween. When you go trick-or-treating on the streets, it's really dark. Or when you're at your school disco, it's really dark. Or when you're watching a scary movie at home, it's really dark. Have you ever been scared of the dark? I have. You don't know what's going to jump out at you. There might be spiders. There might be monsters. When I was little, I used to feel scared of the dark at night time. And so my mum bought me a nightlight so that whenever I felt scared, I could switch on the light and it would get rid of all the darkness. After that, whenever I woke up in the middle of the night, I would turn on the light and it would shine brightly and I wouldn't feel as scared anymore. You see, I think all the darkness at Halloween should make us want to search for the light. It's like a boat out at sea in the middle of the night. When the storm comes and the waves get big, it gets scary because it's too dark to see where the rocks are. The boat might crash into the rocks and be destroyed. And so the people on the boat, they search for a lighthouse to show them the way to safety. A boat out at sea at night needs the light from a lighthouse to rescue them from the darkness. And I think all this darkness at Halloween shows us that we need a light to rescue us from the darkness. Ah, here's a light shining in my house. Come inside with me, I still need to carve my pumpkin. this year, hasn't there? But the Bible says there's not just darkness all around us, there's darkness inside us too. Like how sometimes we think unkind thoughts, or sometimes we're mean to people, and then there's the darkest thing of all, when we ignore the God who made us. And so we're in a really bad situation, surrounded by darkness, like that boat stuck out at sea in the middle of the night. But the Bible tells us where we can find the light that will save us from the darkness. It tells us about a man called Jesus, who is God's own son. When Jesus came into the world, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Jesus is like a light shining in the darkness. Like the light that my mum gave me when I was scared of the dark. Or like the light shining out of a lighthouse that shows the boat the way to safety. Halloween is about death and fear and darkness. That's why there's so many skeletons and ghosts and monsters at Halloween. But Jesus came to defeat the darkness and bring us light and hope and life. And so one of the writers of the Bible said, even though I walk in the darkest valley, I won't be afraid. Because he knew that Jesus, the light of the world, was with him in the darkness. And so he wasn't scared. Like how the nightlight I had in my room when I was a kid stopped me being scared of the dark. This year, there's been lots of darkness in the world. So how about this Halloween? Instead of looking for more darkness, let's look for the light. Now I reckon you've already carved your pumpkins because it's Halloween already. So I've got another craft that we could make together. We're going to make a lighthouse to remember that like a lighthouse, Jesus shines in the darkness, showing us the way to safety. You're going to need a red cup, a clear cup, a battery-powered candle, 
and some masking tape. First up, take the red cup and the masking tape and wrap the masking tape round the red cup to make stripes like in a lighthouse. It should look a bit like this. Then you need to take your battery powered candle. It's very important that it's battery powered so that it doesn't melt the plastic. And you can switch it on. Pop it on top of your red lighthouse. And then all you need to do is pop the see-through cup on top like this. And there you have it, a lighthouse shining in the darkness. You could pop it in your bedroom and use it like a night light. When it gets dark you can switch on the light and remember that Jesus is the light of the world, the one who came to rescue us from the darkness. because you can't do some of the fun things that you might normally do like go trick or treating or see your friends and so I've got something fun that you could do this Halloween at home you can have a light party disco instead of celebrating darkness you can celebrate light so if you have some glow sticks or some flashing lights crack them out now because we are going to have a light party disco right now get ready to do your best dance moves great song all about how Jesus is the light who shines brightly in the darkness. The world is searching